Hi everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie. In today's video, as you guys have read in the title, I will be reviewing the Japanese Velvet Touch Face Palette. Did I said that right? Velvet, uh, yeah, I'm right. So <laughs> the reason why I picked it up is because it totally reminded me of the Benefit Cheekathon Palette, Cheek Parade Palette, sorry about that. So the Cheek Parade Palette looks like this. And the Japanese Velvet Touch Face Palette looks like this. So the only difference is that on the Benefit Palette, you will be getting two bronzers, but on the Japanese one, you will be getting a highlighter, which to me, that's kind of like more um, in favor for me, just so because two bronzers, honestly, I don't use this for contouring because obviously this is not going to show on my skin, so I just use it to set my whole eye area or my bleh, my whole face but anywho of course i will be swatching them side by side in the back of my hand so if you guys want to see if the colors are pretty similar then just go ahead and keep on watching i'm gonna start off with the swatches side by side i am showing you both of the palettes so you can see where i'm getting the colors from so this one is from japanesque and this one is from benefit So, just want you guys to know that I'm not swatching these to compare them as highlighters, but I'm swatching them because this is the only difference in each palette. One has an extra bronzer and one has a highlighter. So here are the finger swatches side by side. Again, the first swatch is going to come from Japanese, and the second swatch is going to come from Benefit. So not all of the shades are pretty similar. So if you are down to um, use another extra bronzer, if you are using it professionally and you know that you are going to need it, then Benefit is probably going to be the one for you. But if you are using it, if you want like a highlighter or anything like that, then I think Japanese will be the one for you. The only colors that are similar to these two is California and the Rockateur one. So let me know what you think. So now I'm gonna try it on my face. I'm gonna get this contouring shade first and then I'm gonna be using this palette how I normally do my makeup routine. I am so glad that this contouring shade doesn't look orangey on me and you know what? It is not powdery at all. After that, I am going to get this middle shade right here, the one that looks like California. I think this is a really nice, pretty shade for the cheeks. And then to finish off my face, I will be using this highlighter and then put that on the highest panes of my face. I'm not a highlighter person, but I think this is really pretty. I was a little bit scared to use it because it looks like it's white, but it turned out pretty fine. So this is what it looks like after I have used the palette. I am pretty happy with it. It's just $40 compared to Benefit, which is $58. So I know that it's not drugstore price, but I was lucky enough to get this on sale, which is $25. Bucks. So if you guys are interested, wait for it to go on sale. And I totally believe that you will love this as well. They are not powdery and the quality is really, really good. So that's pretty much it guys thank you all so much for watching and if you are still not part of the sassy family go ahead and subscribe i upload every week just turn your post notifications on and i'll see you guys next time bye